No, Volkswagen Touareg 2, no. Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volkswagen Touareg 2. The suspension is fundamentally the same as in the first generation, but it has become much lighter. At the same time, the lower wishbones are no longer aluminum, and in the rear suspension the aluminum and the small lowers was changed into cast iron or steel. This did not affect the reserves very much, with proper maintenance. The mechanical part does not cause much trouble. The reserves wheel bearings are usually about 150 and 2000 mileage. The front suspension levers run about 80 120. Signs of silence blocks are changed separately and the ball ones are strong, both in the lower and in the upper arm. And even those craftsmen learn to repress, albeit with the loss of reserves. The rear suspension is even easier. Two non-original cross top links cost 20 euro, each in run for a long time. At the large lever, the silent blocks are again replaceable. On one side it's standard, on the breakup side it's abnormal. The silent blocks of the Supremes are strong, they really need to be replaced. The nuance is there are a lot of machines on springs, but less than half the circulation. Most of the car has air suspension, in general, up to five years old. It works very well. Even cars with storage on the street have little trouble due to corrosion of aluminum and brass elements. The pneumatic tubes are really wiped and mainly after off-road exploits. A thermal screen can press against them in the back. The compressor of the system with proper operation is loaded with a little load and the valve block too. The trick is the company used a high pressure receiver with tri nitrogen. If you fill it up once a year or two and the air suspension hoses turn of flow, then the system works in a closed mode. The load on all elements is minimal and the chances of breakage are negligible. Problems usually start after 5-6 years of operation. The most desperate of fraud enthusiasts may already begin to poison the cylinders. Dirt on the top head corrodes the reinforcement and dirt in the band of the sleeve wraps it off. For those who just travel around Moscow and do not watch the arches regularly, the situation with flushing the cylinders in the upper position may be similar, but the chances are, of course, less. In general, even in absence of proper care, you can drive for up to 10 years without major changes in pneumatics. Only you will have to refill the cylinder often. The compressor will work regularly, and the valve block will be capricious. Although it's not the most problem-free knot anyway, it sometimes requires resetting errors after power outages or frost. Well, the car will fall when parking at night, but who stop us? If the S-Class V2021 is often seen pumping pneumatics through separate fitting at the gas stations, then VW is not ashamed. True, it will be expensive to put such a car in order, the budget is from 600 euros per wheel, not counting the cost of work and a compressor repair kit, for a car at the price of 1.5 million rubles. The costs are quite adequate, but nevertheless not very pleasant. Needless to say that the diagnosis of air suspension should be given maximum attention when buying. Surprisingly, the steering here is with a conventional power steering and a parametric electronic rail. Apparently, the torque status in the Volkswagen table of ranks affects. But on the other hand, everything is set up with dignity. The car rides very well, almost like the Cayenne, and better than most cars. The rail loves to knock and flow after hundreds of thousands of runs, however, they are towed, they twisted and they are toric mercilessly. In cases when the car is in the same hands and up to 300 plus, no serious problem with the rail are observed are common. However, for such longevity, it's sometimes necessary to change the fluid along with the reservoir, there is a filter in it. And do not forget about servicing the machine as a whole because any overheating of the power steering system due to a dirt-clogged radiator package leads to two leaks. All cars are strictly four-wheel drive. There were simply none other options. The design includes a transfer case, card and shafts and gear boxes. Transfer cases are two types with a reduction gear and asymmetric differential analog. 
or self blocking terrorists in the database. The option with blocking and lowering is extremely rare. They took it exclusively for serious off road conditions or the movement of heavy trailers on soft soils. So, if the car has such a box, then it's worth taking a closer look at the state of both the body and the transmission. In this section, you also need to enter cards and shafts with the gearboxes. It would seem that its note should be reliable, especially since all these machines are just about 10 years old. But gearboxes, especially the rear, have weak bearings. Already after 1000 and 1050 kilometers, they begin to play and make noise. And if they do not change them at a time, they will also drag the main pair with them. Repair is not very expensive. But with related work, less than 50,000 rubles for one axle usually does not work. And if the main Paris has died, then such a budget will already go only for the main parts. Hardened shafts are also not permanent. Constant imbalance due to poor the fixed weights and wear of the front cardan elements are given off by vibration along the body. In addition, the shafts are not split, they require a specialized workshop with equipment for repair, which increases the cost of work, and it was possible to encounter vibration even on a warranty car. There are no mechanical boxes on this generation, in any case, in the factory standard configuration. Occasionally, variants of such machines with manual gearboxes slip through, but these are rather alterations or spatial chassis. There is only one automatic transmission with the factory designation 0C8. In the world, it's better known as ASN TR ATSN. Unlike most other multi steps, there is an emergency unlocking of the automatic transmission even in the absence of power. This is useful because cars without this function cannot be rolled onto a tough truck, and in which case you have to call it a crane. But the payback for this is the classic automatic transmission lever, not the newfangled joystick. Due to the sharp reduction in the operating time of the gas turbine engine in the normal mode and the low operating pressure, the efficiency of such a transmission is very high. The consequence of this is a pleasant tendency towards a decrease in the temperature of the automatic transmission. It's heated mainly by the engine, in the case of diesel engines, minimally. True, the oil thermostat on the radiator sometimes wedges due to dirty oil, causing the box to overheat, and the heat exchanger is more likely to do head the automatic transmission and not for cooling. With the resource of oil and filters, everything is not so simple. Everything is not so simple. The turbo converter GT is completely blocked only at smooth movement and RPM above 1000. At regular acceleration or at low traction, the blocking works, but it's 70-80%, which means that a pad is intensely erased, supplying dust to the automatic gearbox oil. Asian wall bodies traditionally do not like dirt very much. Oil with impurities eats away the material of the plate. In neglected cases, replacing the soil nodes cannot be dispensed with. You'll have to install repair kits. Fortunately, the soles on sale, both made and branded Sonox. The box is declared by Volkswagen itself unintended, and enough very smart owners, of whom there are surprisingly many, really try not to change the oil in it, but they should be done quite often. With active driving, once every 30 thousands, with calm, once every 60. Also clean theoretically with the predominance of the road mode of movement can reach up to 120. The features of the box include the presence of torsional vibration dampers in the gas turbine engine, so that those who like to drive constantly eat tightness. The resource of the turbo and conventor may be limited not only by the resource of the lock leanings themselves, but also by the resource of the damper spring inserts. It is especially true for a 4 and 2 diesel engine with the locomotive traction and the first version of 3 and 0 turbo diesel. But the resource of the gas turbine engine blocking leanings themselves is very large. Even for races, the leanings usually live about 2000 and 2050 kilometers. The automatic transmission cooling system includes a heater and external radiator with thermostat in the Russian configuration. The heater is powered by the heat of the coolant and the antifreeze and supplied to it by an electronic vacuum drive. 
which is not very reliable. Failures begin after 3-5 years of service, and sometimes due to breakdowns of the tubes of the vacuum lines. On cars with a start-stop function and a hybrid, the electronic pump control unit was located in the right wheel well. As a result, the chances of the failure of this unit are increased. The automatic transmission selector is located on its housing, as is usually the case with SUV. This can cause problems due to leakage of both the connector and the selector itself. On the mechanical side, everything is fine. Four clutch packs and two brakes have approximately equal resource. Planetary gears, despite their complexity, do not suffer from early wear. If you do not abuse heavy and large trailers at medium speed, when the intermediate gears are engaged for a long time and don't operate the box without overheating in dirty oil. A likely sign of problems is the current gas turbine oil seal. True, often this problem has nothing to do with breakdowns of the mechanics and is caused by improper installation of the gas turbine itself. Some craftsmen, when removing an engine or automatic transmission, for example, to replace a timing belt, Leave the lip of the oil seal tucked in, which cases a leak. A serviceable automatic transmission shifts perfectly smoothly and seamlessly, so any jerks and bumps are a clear reason to think about the resource of the box and the cost of restoration. And it's very high. In terms of electronic diagnostics, the box is a typical metal pageant. It's impossible to get a completely picture of the state according to the readings of the scanner. But on the other hand, the data on the operating time on each of the programs are embedded in the brains. Based on them, you can not only find out how much the run has been won, but also understand in what mode the car was moving. The transfer case and the torque are both very sturdy. Torsen Camly withstands 3050 mileage. The version with the free differential is no less resource, but lock drives and position sensor can be troublesome even at 50,000 mileage, especially if dirt and reagents get in the distributor, but the problems are small and easy to solve. The lining of the design almost did not affect the engines, although the engine compartment is smaller than that of the first generation of the model, the radiators and denser. The automatic transmission has a more complex cooling system, and preheaters are often found even on the basic gasoline engines. We also add the need to remove motors for high quality maintenance of the timing and we will get high maintenance costs and increased chances of mistakes during assembly and disassembly, damage to fittings and writing, fasteners, etc. Almost all motors have an electronic oil level sensor, which is convenient, but here trouble, sometimes it fails. Combined with oil consumption, this sometimes leads to big trouble. In fact, the main gasoline engine on the Torek 7P is the 3 and 6 liter inline space 6 cylinder VR6 engine. This engine belongs to the latest generation of units. It's completely redesigned related to the older 3 and 2 liter engines. It has a smaller camber angle, direct induction, phase regulator, and a completely new timing belt. Since 2018, even the power has been cut under the TAC 249 HP which made it very popular, eliminating the bias towards diesel engines from its predecessor. This is a very good engine if you forget about cooking in lead walls and dirty intake in general, delicate rockers and a not particularly reliable timing mechanism on the flywheel side, with very gentle dampers that don't like all oils and prolonged operation at high temperatures. Almost all the main problems are associated with the progressive oil consumption with 120 mileage plus. And if the problem is ignored, and even more so when switching to cheaper oils, there's a very chance to bring the consumption to 2 liters per thousand with guarantee kill catalysts and lumber props. There is a very chance to bring the consumption to 2 liters per thousand with guaranteed kill catalysts and lambda props. Often the case of the problem is tribal. The crankcase ventilation system gets clogged, the membrane breaks or the size is evolved, and the engine either starts to flow with the oil or simply pulses it into the intake. Less often the wear of the valve stem seals effect. Here they almost don't fly off and work to the last. 
expect them overheating can finish them off ahead of time. The piston group is relatively resourceful, and oil consumption due to cooking of the rings usually appears after problems with the weak cage or with runs above 250. The timing mechanism is well developed, so that even long reading chains usually don't slip unless the engine is turning and cut off. Most of the problems are solved by cleaning, replacing the tensioners and replacing the dumpers. The chains themselves run much longer. This allows you to get rid of a little blood during the first repairs and extend the reserves of most of the mechanism for 200,000. Of the serious disadvantages, you need to pay attention to cooking of the valves. This is not only strong drop in the power after hundreds of thousands of mileage, up to 200 HP with a fully functional fuel system and piston group, but also probable scissors due to lamps of cook getting between the piston and the cylinder. The intake cleaning is now fine-tuned and expensive and it's not worth bringing the engine to such a state. I would like to emphasize that the engine turned out to be not bad for tuning lovers. There are no turbo kits and firmware modification for it, and the boost potential is up to 500 forces. It's hard to say anything good about the 4 and 2 FSI engine, as in the first generation is not happy with the stability of the resource. The aluminium cutting on the cylinders is delicate, poorly combined with direct injection, high operating temperature and lightweight block. The engine is great as a high-touch example, but it's more likely to come in handy as a blank for a chick cylinder block table. In theory, if we imagine that the oscillate cutting does not lift, then the resource of the piston group is conditionally infinite, and there is no wear, but all is still always bully. The best version of the fur and two motor is high-quality cast iron block. Moreover, with the high quality and completely, there are only cases of saving when a one row is blocked. The list of problems is not limited to all the seal. There is a very capricious timing bell and an intake that quickly clocks due to useful crankcase ventilation. There is a very capricious timing bell and intake that quickly clocks due to unuseful crankcase ventilation. Average prices for complex finishing can exceed 300 and 500,000. It's not surprising there is very few cars with such an engine. There were few who wanted to buy a new car with it, and even fewer who wanted to maintain it after the warranty. The hybrid version has a version of 4 and 2 engine cut to 3 liters and 6 cylinders, but the compressor, the CGEA. CGFA and CGTA in this size. His character is more interesting, but 30T FSI engines were among the most capricious on Audi. Don't forget about it. All attempts to remove the problem by lowering the operating temperature, reconfiguring the software or changing the brand of oil ultimately failed. The tuning potential of the engines is excellent, but not at all in terms of resource. A lot of cars are required with 30 diesel engines. They can be divided into two groups. Before installing, these are armatures with a capacity of 204-240 HP and more powerful 260-262 HP. After installing, the engines were significantly updated. In fact, only more powerful options remain in service, and the low power ones were replaced by new CVVA, CVWA options. Unified with the highly powered ones in a piston group and cylinder blocks completely and having the same recirculation system and intake. The engine is considered quite reliable despite the high complexity of the design and the location of the complex timing on the flywheel side. But with age, more and more cars with typical service require their solution. They are worried about such trifles as juggling thermal screens, leaks of the cooling system T and the collapse of the first generation of diesel engines, oil leaks and the collapse of the block of the second generation, oil leaks from the nozzle seals, clock chokes, restyling has two of them, and pipes fitting with the turbine oil, crackle of chains during wear of dumpers. The door style also had a lot of trouble with the vertex flaps at their drive. After styling, diesel engines have sharply increased of the chances of fuel equipment breakdowns due to dying low pressure bumps in the fuel tank. As the pressure in the system increased, the time pipe drives the chips already into the high pressure fuel pump with the understandable consequences. Which is more reliable, the old generation or new? In general, 
there is now a big difference, but the new full equipment is more vulnerable, but the power is significantly higher. The diesel engine 4 and 2 of the CKDA series is seriously different from the 3 liter of the General. In fact, only in fundamental design, cast iron as a block material, pistons are different, rings and fingers are the same, and the design of the cylinder had the common elements. Of the major difference, there is a completely different intake and exhaust, since two Garrett GTB 1749 Wheezy turbines are used here, and not one large GTB 2260 Wheezy key, as one 3 liter ones. The cooling system and the entire vacuum pipping are arranged in a completely different way. There are already two control units. In general, despite the unification, the engine is completely different. The common problems time the resource is about 200,000 kilometers which is slightly more than that of the 6. Further, tensioners and dumpers are mainly brought in, but since the price of work exceeds the price of spare parts. They usually change everything at once. Well, the fuel equipment with piezo injectors is just as delicate, but there are already 8 injectors, not 6. They work in a wider range of loads, and the loading on the injection pump and booster pumps is higher, which causes significantly more problems in this regard. The AGR system is also more complicated, it's more loaded, and the intake coke is accelerating. The turbines are low, near the battle of the automatic gearbox. So electric actuators and dumpers are very able to bind geometry so quite often, and it's difficult and expensive to diagnose and change them. The engine has good potential, stock 320-340 HP, usually turn into 370-380 but most of the cars will never show even the nameplate capacity after 5 years of operation. Only the most careful owners, who are not too lazy to change the pipes and clean the intake, monitor the work of the preservation and the state of the particulate filters, and also regularly perform pressure testing the engine will work as it should. On this, information about the problems of Volkswagen Touareg 2 is exhausted. If you know more, you don't agree with what you have heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.